Hey everyone, it's Ross Bosbach from East Western Games. Last time we left off, we had we had went to deliver the note to Prince Kamadi. So now that I saved after this, unfortunately, I have to run all the way back to where we meet. Um, I don't remember her name. Well, that's a good start. Let's see. Oh. How do I get back up here? Oh, okay. Just grab this and pull it out. That should do it. Sorry for del the delay of recording. Had a bunch of schoolwork. So I didn't get a chance to record at all. I've also been a little bit sick lately, and a lot of stuff has been happening, so, <laughs> sorry about that. So, we head, I don't think it's, I think it's out this way, where we last left off, where we had to go and pick up Miss Ladybird, I forget her name. That's pathetic. Oh, thank goodness. I had a bad feeling that you weren't going to come back, Link. Remember, you used the wind to launch me up on the top ledge. So, like any old classic Zelda, you pick up women. Now, there's a certain way you have to do this, and that would be going up here and not jumping off. Head up here. When it wins like that. No, now it changed. I have to wait, but basically, when the wind's going f like away from you, then you throw her. I just have to wait. I could play this song, but it's close enough. There we go. Oh, thank you. I think I now be able to climb Dragon Roost and meet the gr with the Great Baloo. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I may just be an apprentice, apprentice's attendant, but I can understand some of the Great Baloo's language. Well, I'm not actually bursting with confidence, but look, if anything happens to me, please look after Prince Kamali. And she gives you. Glass bottle. Which is good. Glass bottle will come in handy. Please don't tell anyone. I'll be our secret. Good luck. Alright. So, we have a glass bottle. What do we do with our glass bottle? We fill up with water, of course. You got a filled bottle of water. So, do we know anything that's dry and withered? Hmm. Oh gee. These bond flowers look like they're dry and withered. So let's pour some more on them. So what you're supposed to do is take these bottles and throw them. And you fill the spring. Very good. If you hear background noise, sorry. It's a busy day today, but this is the only day I could record. So now that the spring's filled, we can get to the other side. Climb up here. Hey, look, more bombs. Gee, I wonder what the physics of this dungeon is. Oh, not that. Oh, great. Good job, Ross. So if you land in the fire, you lose health, and you have to start from the beginning of the dungeon again. Luckily, nothing seems to change, which is the best news in any Zelda game. At least on my account it is. Alright. 
don't know where I was going with this, but you start from the beginning of the dungeon and you lose half a heart. Well, a quarter of a heart. So, it's not very good. Let's play Curse. Let's begin. Yeah, I'm not very. I'm not like the best Let's Player for this. If you do want to see a good Let's Play, like watch Chugga Conroy or something, but I'm just here for entertainment. Pretty soon, in fact, we're gonna. We're gonna. Me and Nathaniel are gonna start doing some PlayStation 2 horror games. So if you're interested in a horror, well, and you like seeing us scream our heads off, well. Stay tuned and watch. And I'm just doing all good things. It's hard to angle with these bombs and Link. But if you can't get in it, at the first try, I admit, I really applaud you. <laughs> I really don't want to speed this up. Come on, Link. You gotta be kidding me. I can't even get one in. Yeah, I'm terrible. It's a fact. Yes, that did it. So, that knocks that down. We just have to do the same thing here. I thought that actually hit. Okay. Okay, now it just doesn't want to go in. I'm sure it looks like I'm hitting it. Probably had to do it at an angle. It looks like it's going over. Is that in? Yes! Okay, so now that's in. And now you can finally head up to the second dungeon of the game. Dragon Roost Cavern. Actually, one of my favorite dungeons. So, to begin this dungeon, you notice, oh great. Well, it looks like I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. Wrong. Oh. Come on, grab it. There we go. You pull these out. Grab this and pull this out. Try to get around the corner. And there's the door that leads you into Dragon Roost. And then we have some moblins. Or goblins. I forget which ones these are. I think moblins are the ones that are big. Takes care of you, takes care of you. Ooh, joy pendant. Collect as many as the, of these as you can. Trust me, joy pendants will become a necessary. So pick up this flaming stick because you'll need it. Um, where do you put it? Oh, up there. And it's gone out too, which is great. I'll explain that pot later. First, let's lay up this dungeon. There we go, chest finally appears. Now in this chest, I believe has the map or the compass. It's one of those two. Oh, well, I fail. It was a small key. So, an explanation of this pod. Uh, if I can get up there to show it, nice camera angle. You climb up and fall into it, it spits you out, or at least that's what you think. But this is actually now a teleportation system. There is more ba- uh, I forgot the cauldrons like this in the dungeon. And these cauldrons are used to travel across the dungeon. So if you need ghost simmer somewhere quickly, there you go. Just, yeah, you just smash it. 
Okay. So here we're in the main volcano, which is really pretty. Pick up one of these skulls, you can throw them in the lava. Sucks to be him. Problem solved. Here you'll notice that there's a locked door, which means we have to go find the key. And fall in the lava. Good job, Ross. It's kind of hard to see on my TV, so sorry if I'm making more mistakes than you think you would. I have a smaller TV. But, notice there's that locked door. We cannot get in there. But what we can do is jump down here. Press the right trigger to pull this out. Climb up it with the A button. And climb up there. Okay, nothing over here. At least I don't think so. There we go. Keys. Well, as you can notice, I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, let's see if I can find some hearts. I'm just doing great wonders in this game. I'm not like the master of this game, as you can clearly tell. But I did beat this game. I don't know why I'm having trouble with it. Then again, it's no surprise, I mean, whoa, it's no surprise, I mean, I am just, I'm re, here's the thing, it seems like every time you record or something like that, you do really well, but, yeah, never mind, but, whenever you record, it seems like you do more, you do, do terrible, ugh. Sorry, I'm trying to weigh phrases in the best way possible. Here's what it is. Basically, when you're recording, it's just downright, you do terrible. You have a bad performance, and it's just because you're recording while you're trying to talk. It does lead to a distraction. And I play that. I'm just getting fresh on my health. I'm probably gonna die here too. Oh no, I'm on half a heart. Okay. But basically, it's just when you're not recording, you do better. And that's the only problem with like doing let's play of Zelda is you have to have like complete focus, which I sometimes don't have when I'm recording. I'm not the best let's player, as you can clearly tell, but I do try my best. I'll just ignore these keys. So you're supposed to take this bomb and come on. Am I just going to do terrible stuff? I'm on a core of that heart. I'm doing terrible. This is just a great day. This is what happens when you record on a day you're supposed to have school, but you don't have school. Ah, good at heart. You get rid of that infernal beeping. So, I made up some health from doing that. Let's see if I can jump from here. And get this chest. Now this might be a key or something. Okay, it's the map. So there's, this is where the map is. I actually thought it was in the first area, surprisingly. So you'll notice that these bottles are different. Pick them up, they've got water. I'm sorry for those people who really, really like progress. I don't think we're gonna have progress at all this this episode. 
And it's not like I'm terrible at the game. It's just I downright completely just get distracted and my choo-choo. That's a choo-choo down there. In fact, I'm gonna go kill it. After it hits me. These things drop chew jelly, which is used to make potions. Very resourceful. Recommend collecting a lot of these. Its gelless glue comes deep within the red choo choos, which sounds really disgusting. But the way my heart rates, my heart's going right now uh, up in the corner, I think I'll need these potions. Okay, this room. So he's supposed to break the door. And the and since he did break the door, I believe, yes, we get his sword, which we can now break the door with. That was easy. Hey, hey, choo -choo, it's good. Choo -choo, delicious potionness of goodness. That we can't go through. We can go through there. You can hear my chair squeaking. Sorry about that. My chair. My chair is old. <laughs> I need to get a new chair. So we're on the other side, but I don't want to actually go there yet. I want to figure out how to get through through there. I think there is wooden sticks. No, I don't think there is one stick, so I thought there was. So where do you, what do you do to get in there? Maybe you just hit it. With a big sword. Where's that big sword? I can barely see with this screen, but I'm sure people on the comments below are like, dude, you idiots, over there. Like, right here. Oh, good job, Ross. And my mom's yelling as usual, so... <sighs> Thanks, Mom. If you hear her, sorry. It's not very professional to have background noise, but there's the small key. But it's the best I can do. The really good episodes are the ones where no one's home. I kind of wish it was like that. Mom, stop talking. Dang it. Don't you hate that? Just like... Well, that worked. Just like, no matter what, your mom seems to interrupt you no matter what you do. It, it drives me nuts. Oh, well. It's not... Oh. Okay. You don't have to swipe it, you can just throw a pot at it and it should explode. <sighs> Except for, I'm not doing very hot. Huh. That's enough. Okay, let's go over here and continue on with our journey. Now this actually brings us back to the start. Excuse me, Skull. So, basically, we just made a loop. We can now go in here. And this... Get rid of these choo-choos. So I have a lot of chew jelly, which is going to be great for me can't get in there. Yeah, I know why. He drops the sword. He drops nothing else. But we can light this and burn this away and throw it. Problem solved. My voice is starting to go. I don't like that. <clears throat> 
So, head through here. Thank goodness we're actually outside. Something I'd like to note with these bridges is you have to be careful when you fight them. Because you can chop them. You can chop these uh, ropes and make them really weak. It will come back. I think I found the name of the episode. Because I'm downright just falling. It's driving me nuts. Free falling. That's the name of the episode. Sneeze and. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, you can tell I'm not a professional. I do would like to thank a person who uh, sent in on episode 4. He commented saying, Hey, you you realize that you need your, uh, you need to get a new mic, you need to record at a better frame rate. Right? Here's the problem. This is the highest frame rate I can do. And not only that, but people like PewDiePie and even Chugacombo. They're recording at 4, 480 sometimes. I don't see what the problem is. Uh, there's these mini birds that remind me of the big boss that took away her sister. So take all your revenge on this guy. Poor Link. He's already low. But PewDiePie and Chugga both do the same thing with their recordings. Yes, my quality may be lower, my microphone may be iffy, but it's the best we can do. If, if you were looking for quality, I mean, I'm sorry. I wish I could give you more quality. Sit across this. Um, or do it like this. Holds a secret, I believe. If if I can get do this right, grab this, pull out slightly, pull this out slightly, pull this out slightly, and you go behind. I can't see. Yes, there is a hole. Go through this hole, and you get money. Money, 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 money. So already I'm reaching 100 coins, or rupees actually. And that's it. You can now pull these out. Oh, no, let go. seen any filthy thieving rats around. I know they are annoying, but keep your wits about you. They are only rats. If you spread bait near the nest, they may store their tre may share their store treasure with you. So let's take up on my offer. It's my bait bag. Hey Mr. Rat. Delicious. Hey, I got something real good. I'll sell it for you. 
go this way. So these are all just stuff that I don't need right now. Pathetic. Sometimes they can bring you potions though. So if you do see a rat hole, recommend grabbing it and throwing bait near it. What's in this chest? Great, the compass. I was hoping we would at least get that. Okay. So turn around, you'll see. Oh look, wood pile. We throw that, pick that up, and we burn it away. Now this actually stumped me, you have to throw it. And miss. Try that again. Pick it up throw it and miss okay please tell me they're oh no 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 <sighs> great well at least I can uh, climb luckily these don't burn out like Deco sticks usually do and right away my brilliance is shining through. I say stuff is easy? Nope. Yep. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. It's just like the game doesn't even want me to do well. It's just like, oh, hey. You're playing Zelda? You're recording for the group? No, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna continue. Oh, this drives me nuts most of the days. But this actually did confuse me as a kid. Why am I aiming it so wrong? I mean, it wasn't, it was literally straight on. Am I just doing the, the throw wrong? There we go, finally. Oh, and hey, look, we're already up to our limit of time, which I really don't want to end it here, but I guess we're going to have to. All right. So, next time, which will probably be on the same day, we are going through that door and seeing what is in there. See you guys then.